beautiful day to be thankful to God for. you had a good weekend i did lots of activities and i'm here to share with you here on the show so i have an update i'm sure you've heard so much about eric donaldson well he's in town for a concert i'll bring you updates on that and of course familia was on daybreak today and the young man said a lot mm. well as i said my name is doreen have you just relax as i bring you everything right here on let's talk showbiz If you're just joining me, this is Let's Talk Showbiz, and I'm Doreen Avi. So, Eric Donaldson is in town, and that's because there's a concert coming up. It's called Hands Across Africa. It has artists like Miss V or Chiame Kwame and others on. And, of course, this concert is happening this coming weekend. That's on Saturday. And, well, for them, the event is being put together, and at the end of it, proceeds will definitely go to charity. My colleague IB was there and well, it was quite a beautiful event and we're looking forward to the concert. Let's take a look at the exclusive launch at the Labadi Beach Hotel. This must come with a lot of excitement for you. I mean, knowing the purpose of this particular concert. I mean, it, it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's amazing that I get to be a part of such a, such a grand, you know, a grand plan, you know, to entertain people, lower stress and give help. I mean... That's what I'm all about. Mm. Well, I can, I, can, I can concur to that because I know that you're, one of your purpose as a musician is to make sure that you put smiles on the face of people. But what do you think of an initiative like this, making sure that people who really need help are getting help through music and the arts? Um, I, I think that is the right, it's the right thing to do and it's in the right direction because all that music does is basically to lower the stress of people and, and spread love. And this is going beyond just words singing one love one love i say okay let us make money and go and use it to support young people in who need help let's buy more shoes for people let's buy let us put young people through training so that they can develop their talents so for me i think it's a step away from just the rhetorics and bringing help to the people taj congratulations on the hands of africa hands across africa concert thank you very much i don't know why it is that gives you the empathy to always want to extend a helping hand to the needy, especially here in Africa, not forgetting Ghana. Well, you know, this is it. I don't think you become a philanthropist. I think philanthropy is built in you. You have no choice. You know, it's, it's if I get $5, I say, how much can, how can I give? Who am I going to give the 250 to? You know, that's why I'm never going to be a rich man, because I'm giving away everything that I have. You're giving away everything uh, you have. Yeah. Well, it's amazing what you're doing, but what actually inspired this whole thing from the begin from the word go? I mean, Hands Across Africa is an extension of what we've been doing all the time. We've just decided to extend it to the African continent. Um, we are piggybacking on what is the Caribbean Africa Summit, and bringing the continent and the sixth region together. I mean, I know governments do their thing, but we've just taken the lead. And we've just brought our brothers and sisters from the diaspora to the continent to just bring it together. You know, that's all we're doing. I know that, yes, you are going to give the proceeds, you're taking it back to the philanthropy work, but do you have a flagship program, something that is heavily underlining this whole thing that you are looking at? Have you identified anything that you want to do? The flagship program is the, is a football scholarship program, especially in the year of the Black Stars. You know, it, it almost suited uh, the occasion. We were supposed to have been here last September. We were bringing coaches from the U.S., to look at the, uh, the, the potential in-country to give some scholarships, but COVID and the protocols threw us off. So we're coming back. We're coming back. We're going to be here next March because in September we're on the road in other African countries. But we're here next March with the flagship program of the football scholarship program. So my, I am so very excited seeing you in person because growing up I've been listening to your songs and all that. Second time coming to Ghana. Yeah, wait, yeah, wait. Yeah. Well, I mean, what was it? How was it like the first time? And when was the first time you came to Ghana? Hey, the first time now, boy, how three, maybe five, maybe six years ago. Okay. Just guessing. Mm. I didn't have it on paper, you know. Okay. So I guess about five, six years ago. Mm. Yeah. Did you have a good time? 
Yeah, it was okay. It was okay. Yeah. And this time around, you're actually getting on the stage to actually answer a lot of people's wishes. Are you aware of that? Yeah. Oh, a yeah. lot of people really will love to see you in person. Yeah, I expect people to ask a lot of questions, uh, you know, mm. I interviews and them things. I come well prepared for okay. answering questions and things like that. Well, Taj said he actually brought you because you bought into the vision of what he wanted to do or what he is doing, the philanthropic work he's doing. What touched your heart when Taj told you that he wants to bring you to Ghana? Um, well, it was really Christine who mentioned it and because I came here already and it's an organization called um, Hands Across Africa. I think it's a good venture if I support so i just feel into support okay yeah and on that day what are we to expect come the 23rd of july the 23rd of july i can say what you're gonna expect you're gonna see the best of eric donaldson i want to assure you that every time you see eric donaldson i get stronger and stronger better and better so your show sure is gonna be very great i know how does how's the feeling when you know that people idolize you like this? Well, I have a feeling when they idolize me to return thanks to them uh, to show appreciation, you know? Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you too. Yes, yes. And hoping to see you on uh, You cannot miss this. I can't. I, you will I miss won't. this. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for your time. Okay, okay. Right, so that was the exclusive launch of the Hands Across Africa event. And of course, the concert will take place this weekend. I mean, the coming weekend. That's on Saturday. Now, moving on. Hmm. Familia was on Daybreak Hits earlier today with Andy Dusty, and the young man had a lot to share. I mean, I know most of us know him as a musician, but we probably did not know the background. I mean, what he went through before coming to be or where he is now, talking about his music, inspirations behind his songs, especially the song Praise. Wow. <laughs> when the young man was talking at a point, I'm like, wow. But it will be wow for all of us. But he's in a good place. He's at a safe place. And well, uh, here are excerpts of the interview here on Let's Talk Showbiz. Do you get worried when things don't work out for you sometimes? I get worried. I have to I have to be worried because that's the only thing that go push me. And me getting worried doesn't mean say like Mabe Mebu. Because I actually have a song titled Don't Worry. So in as much as I shouldn't worry, I for worry because if I don't worry, things go spoil. You day like we can say uh, time no day, time day, but time no day. Uh be all normal. It, it makes me feel so comfortable. What I say, but you know, as so much as school with nature, say time no day, and also say mirror into to born a year and No, it always can get better. Uh, it be good, better, best. It be processing. It, just as I said, you know, what I say, and I mean, and I listen to people. I, I few days ago, I met um, legendary self of, of um, VVIP, and was telling you, yeah, and was telling me say industry need a Eh si, eh si, eko si, eba si. And I had the amateurs ah, I'm in team free young artist oh. Always in me team free or more amabe ebi no. Let's just say eh be be dangerous no kano. Right. It's a what you say sa. Anytime I open phone mano, we be say oh nyeh she, oh nyeh oh boni. Eh sa na di anete, sa na brabote. You understand it that way, and then you go with the flow. Just know that consistency is the only way you win. It's no me cost no ma yes ah. Yeah, yeah, to me, yeah, be mu to me mu. Even when nobody they listen to Peter, yeah, we go do am sa sa. You see my album. Mm. I don't do album for today. So my album, there's 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 no commercial song on the album. There's no song that I, I put on the album with the plan be say make you blow. The plan be say make the song hit you, make you know be say it hit for everywhere because there's the song has to grow on you. And it would take a very long time because I know I know every anything I'm doing, everything I'm I know. Mini 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 song. Yeah. Mostly it's difficult to do that. But for me, I've been very lucky because even when I don't have any big song, 
right from 2019, my charges goes up, goes up, goes up, and they still they go. You understand? So even if the album no, you know, make too much noise, I still they chop. My streams they go on. I they get the um, 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 how do you call it distribution deals day in and out from top 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 you know company. So like they're yeah, grateful. That be that be the main idea behind the song. You know my, my family. I I get two kids now. Like God they do them. You understand? So yeah, God they do them. How we plan them? That be how they go. Sometimes they flop, but we don't understand because we are still alive. Yeah. Right, so that was family yeah, there. Those are excerpts of the interviews. And if you go on our social media pages, you get more and more of it. And now there's one trending thing on social media, and I believe it's going to be a shock to many, even though it's still a shock to others. I was particularly in shock this morning when I saw the news. And her name is Ada Ame, and she's an actress in Nigeria. Uh, she's popularly known in one of the series on DSTV called The, the Johnsons. I mean, she plays the role of uh, the man's wife in there. And, well, for many, I'm sure that we see them on the screens, but we do not know what they go through. But before her death, which happened yesterday, she had granted a series of interviews talking about mental health after the death of her daughter. And uh, I believe that uh, probably if you did not know her, this was an interview she did with Chud before she died, explaining um, how broken she is after losing her daughter and mental illness. To this point, the way I am today, this was the one that broke me. Okay. Losing your daughter. Was, oh, was yeah. the one that really, really, really got me yeah. broken. When I mean broken, I mean broken. Like, I don't, sometimes I just sit maybe in my bathroom because that's one of the places According to Spiff of the Johnstons, that's where I wear my thinking cap. So I just find myself sitting there. I don't need to cry. The tears just kept rolling down my cheek. And what am I doing? What next? What am I going to do? That was my number one praise singer. That was my number one cheerleader. That was my prayer partner. Yeah. I, I think this is the first time I am... I am sane. When I mean sane, sane as in sane, not having anything like alcohol in my system at all since she passed on to face... I mean to do an interview. You know, and sometimes when I'm invited for some functions, I get myself knocked off because I don't know. I know I just look at people knowing fully well that no, it's okay, don't worry. They just have, um, they don't know I know by the way they stare at me. Should I just tell her sorry? I'm that type that's. You know, one minute, um, one minute, um, one minute, um, it's all right. Oh, come on. I didn't want this my makeup to get. <laughs> one minute I can be like this and the next minute, but. So I just hide under alcohol and just. But now, I remember those messy, messy moments. Messy, beautiful, messy moments. Mm. And mm. I know she never liked it, even though she knows that there were some things I, I don't talk about. Mm. 
I don't like talking about, and I just behave as if all is well. Mm -hmm. She knows. So I just had to go back to God and just tell him that you have to take this away because it's almost messing me up. You go slam money. You don't understand. Farm, south, farm. <laughs> Everything is going to be fine. Yeah, I have an issue right now. And it's taking my life. And I will die. We'll get over it. We'll get over it. I was given a job. I didn't do the job because I had mental issues. Would people understand when you say you have mental issues? They won't. They are slamming me with a bill, suing me. It's okay. It's okay. Right, so that was Ada Ahmed, the late, and uh, may her soul rest in perfect peace. And I'm sure you all watch her. You've seen her in a number of movies, but it's quite shocking to everyone in the movie industry, or should I say the entertainment industry, both in Ghana and Nigeria, because we watch her a lot. Now, if you're a musician, oh, should I say growing up, I've watched Elton John over and over. I listen to his music, but hey, Bernard boy, the man don't go... Listen, Elton John says Bernard Boy is the, probably one artist he would love to work with. Look, he was just showering praises on the young man. And I know Bernard Boy at a point, he was overly excited. But, you know, he had to behave like a musician, like, oh, yeah, it's me. But it was beautiful. And here's a conversation between the two of them. Uh, it went so well. Elton John's Rocket Hour. Apple Music One. Well, personally... I would love to do one day. I'm on a world tour at the moment. But when it's things are calmed down, if you ever want to do something with me, I'd be, you're the one artist that I really would love to do something with because you really make me happy and your music is just so fantastic. It would be an honor for me to do that. Man, of course. I've been, I've been looking forward to that for so long. <laughs> All right. Well, I for promise so, you so one long. day we'll get together and we'll do something. I can't wait to do that. Meanwhile... Congratulations on all your success. You are such a star and your music makes everybody happy. Thanks so much. And I'm looking forward to working with you as soon as possible. <laughs> Absolutely. It's important for African native artists to know themselves. It's important for African native artists to be proud of themselves. You understand? It's important for African native artists to, when they come out to the world, you know, when they come outside there, Home to all to know who they are and not forget and not try to conform. You cannot go to um, America and try to offer Americans rap or <laughs> or trap or whatever. You understand? Because they have that already. What are you bringing? Like why? Is, why? They, you understand? So if you're a native African, I say you go over there, bring them what's happening there. It's new for them. They you teach them. You understand? So. That's what they should that's what they should learn me don't worry about me All right so yes that was Benna boy congratulations to him we are all looking forward to that jam or should i say that hit you should i say it's just music but i know that we we'll all love it Benna boy Elton John Elton John Benna boy hmm uh, on that note, that'll be it for Let's Talk Showbiz. A very big thank you to you, Nat IB and Ico Production. This is how we do it here on Let's Talk Showbiz. My name is Doreen Avio on Facebook and Twitter. It's Doreen Avio and on Instagram is Doreen underscore Avio. And remember to log on to myjoinline.com for more of our stories. Have a great evening.